In this video, we're going to talk about the basic idea behind the mobility that we teach via online coaching. We're going to do this in two ways. We think about it like a joint is flexing or extending. So flexing would be shortening or closing and extending would be opening. Every joint has two sides. We can think of this like a door hinge. A door hinge has a closing side and an opening side. The closing side is normally the side that's generating energy or contracting, getting smaller, flexing. The back side or the side that's lengthening is extending, it's getting longer, it's stretching. This is how we're gonna think about the body and each of our joints that we're trying to mobilize or stretch and get into. We work this in two ways. We look at stretching, stretching and lengthening and we also look at strengthening and shortening, or let's say flexing. What we can then do is work both sides of each of our joints and gain not only stretch, or greater flexibility, but also this idea of mobility where I'm actually also strengthening the shortening side. That's the basic idea. There are also many smaller concepts that help us work with this, but we won't talk about them in this video. I'll give you a brief example. Let's say I want to work on my shoulder mobility, classic one. We'll think about it very simply. We'll think about it in regards to shoulder flexion. Shoulder flexion is this range of motion. Now, I'll treat myself as a robot for now. I'm not a robot, neither are you, but, <laughs> well, the camera actually is, but anyway. If I was a robot, I could isolate a specific part of my, my structure or body without too much problem. Because I'm an organism, I can't really isolate truly the thing that I'm looking at, but I can do my best. So I'm gonna do my best to isolate my shoulder in flexion without anything else in my body moving. In this way, I can isolate it. What I'm then going to do is do two things. I'm going to stretch the lengthening side. So if you see this angle, as I go into flexion, this angle gets bigger. Bigger, bigger. We then have the back side. This angle gets smaller, all the way until we get 180 degrees of shoulder flexion. So what can we do? I'm looking at stretching this lengthening side. So for example, doing something like a hang or a cobra stretch lengthening these muscles that are hindering this opening of the joint or opening of the hinge. I then strengthen the back side. So I want to try and strengthen this side of the joint to help open it by doing things like maybe a trap three raise or a wall handstand drill or something that gets these muscles stronger. We then have both sides of the joint working together. We have lengthening and we have strengthening. I can do the same thing with my knee, with my ankle, with my hip. So long as we understand this concept, we're all good. Now, obviously for you, you may be a teacher, you may not. I don't know who this is exactly. I'm talking to the general population. If you're a teacher, this is really important to know. If you're not and you're a practitioner, I think it's also important to know. The reason being is that it allows you to start to have clearer intention with your work. So if you're just willy-nilly doing the stretch and doing some strength training and don't really see the benefit, or the reason as to why we have an issue. So in this video, I really hope you understand now the stretch and extension, the flex and the strengthen. Any questions, please let me know. This is a really important concept. Enjoy it and use it to its full potential. Thank you.